This is the scene at airports across the U.S., and it's largely the fault of one airline, Southwest. For the last four days, there's been a lot more red on these screens than there should be. The second largest domestic carrier has cancelled 65% of its flights. 15,000 in all have been grounded. This is the worst flying experience I've ever had, and I've been flying for, you know, 40 years. This couple was stranded in Chicago, fed up with sleeping rough at the airport. They drove to Ohio to catch a flight home after Southwest went dark. It was absolute chaos. It was almost as if they just threw their hands up and said, that's it, we're done. Southwest says it wants to be America's most loved airline. These travelers say they weren't feeling it. Cattle have more direction than what we were treated like. I mean, it really was no direction. Southwest has described what's happening here as the biggest operational mess in its five decade history. The main issue, the computer system. They can't get crews to waiting planes or properly track all this luggage. This union leader says the airline has trouble handling major disruptions like a snowstorm. If everything is running smoothly, then, you know, it, it, it's manageable. But when you have events, it exposes the need for uh, an updated system. Facing throngs of angry passengers and an irate workforce, the company's CEO has issued a mea culpa. We're doing everything we can to return to a normal operation. And please also hear that I'm truly sorry. Sorry won't cut it for the federal government. A day after President Joe Biden promised to hold airlines to account, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is demanding Southwest pull it together and fast. We are going to hold them accountable for meeting those customer service commitments. That's cold comfort to passengers. The airline is currently rebooking flights for mid-January. J.P. Tasker, CBC News, Washington.